Can Great. you hear me? Yep, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to try and share my screen because mm -hmm. I prepared a few slides just to organize this. Mm -hmm. um, so, can you guys see my screen? Yeah, but it's not full screen. It's uh, just the uh, the browser view. Okay, great. I think it's doing something. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Uh, so, my project was uh, is focusing on these two questions: How do you open an existing network to others, and how do you encourage experienced users to offer support? And as you can see, these questions are actually uh, connected. Uh, because uh, as soon as you open a network, you're showing who who in that uh, group uh, has skills that uh, could support you. Um, so that is what uh, Connect on Meta Wikimedia is about. Uh, it's a platform designed to connect uh, with others and to find peer-to-peer -peer support. Um, I, I wanted to go over a few things that uh, I uh, achieved during this program. The first of them was uh, GitHub. Uh, I learned how to use uh, GitHub and in the process I, I also gained a better understanding of how to request uh, technical tasks and set expectations for collaboration and that was uh, pretty pretty cool I, it felt very empowering uh, this is what the project looks like uh, at the moment uh, on GitHub mm -hmm. um, it has a, a description a background and a few milestones uh, for people to engage um next up is uh personas and pathways uh this step was uh, very important i created three uh, the personas and pathways for three out of the four groups that uh this project is targeting and this also allowed me to create a network and offer this platform as a service for other projects uh and teams uh one example of that is that i'm I, trying to start working with uh, Rachel Farron, who is also in this cohort, um, uh, to see if this can uh, support her work with volunteer developers and how they can better connect after events. Um, I created an engagement plan uh, for Connect on uh, Meta Wikimedia, uh, which includes uh, using my current network to expand reach. Um, so the engagement plan consisted on identifying highly active uh, groups, uh, creating a group for them and showing how they can use it themselves and hoping that they would sign up for it. And I tried this with two different groups, as you can see now. Uh, this is what the, the platform looks like right now. It's a prototype. Um, so I tried this with two different groups. Uh, one was the Wikimedia Diversity Group. I created the group and I, I reach out to them on Facebook and I said, hey, I created this group and everyone was uh, really excited and all of these people signed up to participate. Um, and I think this was uh, correlated with the fact that I did this right after a conference that brought all of them together. So um, it, it worked really well because they were already looking forward to working together. When I tried that with another group, for example, the Volunteer Supporters Network, it didn't work well <laughs> and nobody signed up um, and later on I actually found that um, they already had their own page on Meta Wikimedia as you can see uh, here it's the same principle it has uh, some icon identifying there's a description and there's a list of people who are working on this topic uh, so I still have to explore um, a bit more how um, the features work and how to get people engaged who are already maybe doing this somewhere else. And finally, oh, next steps. Uh, I, we, uh, our team has recently been approved to um, hire a technical design contractor the, to help us um, develop the, uh, the platform a little bit forward because at the, whoops, sorry. Um, at the moment, uh, Connect, to create a, a group on Connect, you have to do the following. You have to go here and read some documentation and copy some markup and create the, the page. Uh, in the future, we will have some things more similar um, 
to, for example, what we have for people to contribute a resource uh, on the Wikimedia Resource Center. And just to show what that looks like, as something like this, add a resource. Hopefully creating a group will be as easy as what it is now to add a resource. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I hope I didn't go too fast. <laughs> Uh, I have my contact info here, and I added a few. I, at the moment, I'm collecting feedback from, from people on uh, what um, comments and questions you have about how do you connect online with others and to collaborate, uh, and what features specifically make you feel more engaged. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in learning about this. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, thanks. Thanks, Maria. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, ether pad. I can't get back to my screen now. <laughs> uh, is it the same for you, Abby? Um, I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, you cool. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it looks like you have uh, a few I comments. was in the middle of writing. <laughs> uh, all right, so like, please, yeah. So a connector opportunity, connection. So that's with uh, oh, yeah. Adrian. So that's uh, 218, oh, cool. yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. It's really, yeah, it's really good. Really good. It's actually interesting to see how, um, you know, two, two groups perform differently. So good work. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, specialized knowledge. Yeah. So that makes sense. Okay, cool. So good luck with the uh, technical implementation. Hope it goes well. Uh, and maybe it'd be cool to see some metrics, right? See how, how it performs. Um, cool. Next up we have, um, pre and post event engagement with Rachel. Hi, can you hear me? Yep, a bit quiet, but yeah. Okay, uh, I'll try to get a little closer to the mic. Okay. Um, okay, so um, my project is pre and post event engagement. Um, I've spent the last month interviewing event and conference managers from um, big community driven and open conferences from around the world. Um, I'll probably end up this project with about 20 interviews. Um, some of the people that I've interviewed were um, the organizers of Aspiration Tech, Allied Media Conference, the Wikimedia Conference, Harmful Speech Online, SourceCon, Mozilla Fest, Mozilla Open Leaders Program, thank you, Abby, um, Diversity Conference, Wikimedia Conference India, Debian Conference, Strange Loop, Open Conference, Google Code in Google, Summer of Code, Nonprofit Technology Conference, FOSS Asia, Wikimedia Hackathon 2017, Wiki Indaba, Wiki Amorite University Hackathon, and Wiki Data Conference. Um, there's a couple more people that I'm still potentially going to interview or not, and we're working that out, but we'll see. 20 interviews um, uh, was really fun to do. Uh, I spent an hour talking to each person, except for a couple people who we got really excited about the topic and kept extending the time. Um, so this resource um, originally was meant to be just about pre and post event engagement, um, but over time the project got expanded to quite a few um, more areas, which I'll go over in a minute, um, and that was because since I was already talking to these people and it's unlikely that anyone's going to do 25 hour long interviews anytime soon with all these people again, I, I thought that it would probably be valuable to um, spread out the questioning and the knowledge that would be gained from this project. Um, this is not a step-by-step -step how to organize events, which is something that we kind of already have. It's linked um, in the links below on the Etherpad, the Just Hackathons handbook that we have. Um, but this is more of a place to get inspired, to go and see what other people are working on um, and see what they're doing and then build your own program because most of these things um, have to be customized based on your own community, your own event, and your own organizing team. Um, right now I'm in the process of sorting through about uh, like 90 pages of data, um, getting it down into a small amount of data, um, and then putting it into um, useful sections and information in a really readable way. So the main topics that have come out of this project are safe spaces, which is codes of conduct, participant guidelines, inclusion, and event safety. Um, then we have pre-event engagement, which is encouraging participant um, encouraging their excitement, their planning, and their participation before the event starts. Um, then there's 
basically the communication side of it. How are you communicating with your participants and how are they communicating with each other? Because that's usually a lot more complicated than just we email them. Um, then there's co-creating events. So it's basically how can you organize an event that empowers your attendees to feel like it's their, their event too. Um, then if everyone's working on making a good event, then the, the whole event's going to be better. It doesn't just have to be organizers making an event for what they think people want. Um, then there's the whole measuring success side of things, which sounds uh, simple, but it's not. Usually event organizers can go to an event and say, hey, people were happy and smiling and it was great. Uh, but the problem is if you're talking to funders or people who weren't there, you can't just say that. You actually have to have measurements to show. So I found a lot of interesting things about that. Uh, then we have event follow-up. So it's basically like if you want your event to have impact, um, you come away with action items. So this is basically um, efforts that are supporting um, participants and speakers to follow up on action items from the event. Uh, then we have the post-event engagement side of things, which is a little bit different than the follow-up. It's just more like using your event as a springboard or a catalyst just to encourage more participation in your community. Um, then we had the mentoring program side of things, um, which is a huge topic, but we tried to get into some specifics. Um, and then there's newcomer support, which is really important. How do you make your newcomers feel welcome, feel like they don't have to sit at a table eating lunch alone, feel like they have something to do starting from the first minute they, they walk into the door? Um, so I know that this is a huge tease because if you go to the page right now, um, all of those sections are still blank. But I promise you that um, there's a lot of work happening behind the scenes. Um, things should be published on the link within two weeks from now, maybe three at the most, but I'm trying to set a two week, uh, week deadline. And I would just say um, that this project has been really interesting. I've spent the last years thinking in depth about um, all of these things. I in some naive way, almost considered myself to be an, an event expert because I've been organizing so many events for so long on so many different scales of size. Um, and just the things that I've learned and the new ideas that I um, that have come from this, these interviews has been really humbling um, and really amazing. So, um, I just want to thank the Mozilla Open Leaders Program for this because I don't think this project would have gotten as much attention as it has um, or had grown into so many topics um, without the Mozilla Open Leaders Program. And I also want to say thank you to Maria from Wikimedia Foundation for being such a good partner throughout this. We really worked on this together. And then, of course, to Min and Abby for being great program leads. So thank you very much. Let me know if you have questions. Excellent work. I'm really excited to see what, you know, um, those sections being filled out and maybe even use it, you know, that'd be great. Uh, lots of valuable information there, so really looking forward to it. Um, also, that's a really, really long list of events, so that's, a really, that's really impressive. So, like, there's, there must be some, you know, gems hidden in that, uh, in that data, right? Um, what else? Great yeah, absolutely, there are. Cool. And I think some people, I think it's Adrian, maybe some, yeah, I think Adrian's setting up a time to chat. And yeah, um, so maybe a timeline on maybe um, when this stuff will be online. Are you aiming for like Christmas-ish? Uh, it should be online two weeks from now. That's what I'm aiming on. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot, so many people spent so much time talking to me that I feel a definite um, obligation to make sure that they get something back. Um, I, yeah, so I, I'm trying to get it up as soon as possible. And Great. Looking forward to it. Uh, thanks, Rachel. So next.